From a regular kid playing soccer in Spain to winning the Sir Henry Cotton Rookie of the Year Award and banging 19 professional tour wins, John Rahm really has come a long way to become one of golf's best for the next generation. But really, what makes him so dangerous and unstoppable? It's almost impossible to convince anyone who started watching golf anytime around 2016 that John Rahm hasn't played pro golf for at least a decade. Why? This guy is just too good on the golf course to not be a veteran. Agreed, he's not the first pro golfer who first picked up a club around the age of seven, but not many can spend years shuffling between three other sports and still turn out better than all his peers when he eventually takes the game seriously. Rom's first experience with golf was at the Martiatu driving range with his mom when he was just seven, but he didn't take the game to heart till he was 11 years old and got some golf coaches. All that time, John had been dabbling in soccer, canoeing, and taekwondo alongside golf, and he was pretty good at all of them. It's hard to believe someone can excel at so many sports simultaneously, but one quality that Rom possesses that is his secret weapon to date is his competitive spirit. If you're ever asked what makes John Rahm so good in a pop quiz, you won't be wrong to say it's his competitive spirit. And if you're wondering why we gave you a brief on his path to playing golf, well, that's because he has been competitive from day one. Since his days of playing soccer in the streets of Barica in Spain, Rahm played as a goalkeeper and would yell at his teammates every time he conceded a goal. Sometimes he would completely storm off the pitch because his teammates weren't reciprocating his energy. That's how competitive he was, and still is. Rom's many achievements at the young age of 28 have put him in comparison with the GOAT himself, Tiger Woods. While that might be a bit far off, even Rom has admitted it, the competitive spirit is something they have in common. And like Woods, the competitiveness can get feisty, to say the least. There have been instances where Rom has just completely lost it after a bad hit or a miss while on the course. Sometimes he has even gone as far as blurting out swear words on the course. But with time, he has learned to get his emotions under control. He doesn't flare up as much or get frustrated. If we're being real, a good part of this might be because he's actually in a place where there's little to complain about. Take his outburst after the win in Dubai at the end of the DP World Tour season when he found out his world ranking was still stuck at 5. John wasn't very pleased, and he let his emotions show. If anyone should even be pissed about being number 5 in the world is a conversation for later. Also early in 2022, he had a run of events where he repeatedly dropped F-bombs on the course. Eventually, he took time to explain that golf is a game of hits and misses, but his belief is that reacting to misses shows you care. He then said, that should not change. The day it doesn't matter is probably the day you should stop playing golf. That should not change. The day it doesn't matter is probably the day you should stop playing golf. How about that for a winner's mentality? However, with Rom currently ranked as the world number three and roaming around the top three spots for some months now, he has little to complain about. So whether it's his success that has calmed his nerves or he has actually learned to manage his emotions, that's left to be seen. He even owned up to it, saying, I've been extremely disciplined my whole career, but right now I'm seeing the dividends of a lot of the hard work. Obviously, when you're playing well, it's really fun, and when you're winning tournaments, extremely fun, but you've got to enjoy the tough moments as well. What we can be sure of, though, is that he is one of the most competitive golfers anywhere in the world, and that makes him so dangerous. It goes without saying that John Rahm is one of the most talented players the world of golf has seen in decades possibly since Tiger Woods' rookie years. His amateur career is proof of that, as it might just have been the most stellar amateur career the game has ever and will ever see. We mean, it's not every decade you see someone hold the number one spot in the world amateur golf ranking for 60 weeks. However, even with how easy his career seems to have been thanks to his talent, we can't take away his mental strength. That is one of the key factors to how dangerous a player he is. First, the mental strengths to handle the pressure that has been on him since he was about 15 years old. You heard that right, he was just 15 when he started representing Spain at amateur championships, including the 2011 European Boys Team Championship, the 2014 European Amateur Team Championship team events, and the 2014 Eisenhower Trophy individually, all of which he won. 
His name was on the lips of everyone in golf media when he got to college at Arizona State University, but he stayed true to the basics and graduated with 11 college golf tournament wins, only second behind Phil Mickelson's 16 collegiate wins and a Bachelor of Arts degree in communications. Many young players tend to burn out with the pressure to keep performing at the same level they did when they first picked up a golf club, but not Rom. In fact, he has only become better. Like LeBron James was to the NBA when he was about to enter the NBA, John Rahm was seen as the chosen one when he decided to go pro at age 19. Since his first start as a pro in 2016 till date, Rahm has not let down the hype. That alone requires insane levels of mental strength. And when a difficult season came in 2022, Rahm showed his maturity and how much he had developed his mental strength by coming back stronger. He had started off the year at the Century Tournament of Champions at Kapalua Resort in Hawaii, where he shot 33 under par for four rounds, including a 61 in the third round. Don't get us wrong, that was one hell of a start to a season as it broke the original PGA Tour to par scoring record of 31 under par. But it wasn't good enough to give him the win, as Cameron Smith finished at 34 under par to win the title. Less than a month later, Rom finished a shot off the playoffs and had to settle for a tied third finish at the Farmers Insurance Open. At a point, it looked like the pressure was catching up with him. He struggled for most of the year as his putting touch seemed to have let him down. He has a technique, which we will get into in a bit, that is seemingly simple, but somehow, for most parts of 2022, it just wasn't clicking. There were wins here and there on the good days, but it just wasn't the John Rom we all knew from a couple of years prior. However, sometime around June, in an interview that would serve as motivation to up-and-coming golfers, Rom said, I think that your biggest asset is mental strength out here. That's what you need. You are going to have a lot of holes where things are going to go wrong. I just have to know going into it and accept certain things that happen. And that's exactly what he has done. His 2023 season is still just getting off the ground, but it is already the best season of his life, in his words. He has already made more than $9 million this year and has joined the elite company of Johnny Miller in 1974 and 75 and Arnold Palmer in 1961 as the fastest to reach three victories before March 1st. For anyone who ever doubted John Rahm's mental strength, here's all the proof you need. With how much success Rahm has experienced in pro golf and how high his career trajectory clearly is, it begs the question of what his motivation is. What keeps him from basking in what he already has and pushes him to do better? You might find it hard to believe, but the answer to that is two names that have been consistently near Rom's name on the OWGR for over a year now, Scotty Scheffler and Rory McIlroy. While you'd expect a form of jealousy between the three since they've been bouncing each other off the top three spots repeatedly for over a year, Rom has revealed that the competition is actually his motivation. Talking about the trio in February 2023, John Rahm said, I mean, it's been great. What is it, the most amount of number one changes in this short period of time? I saw some of those stats because it's just really interesting, which speaks to the greatness of the game of golf right now, how good everybody's been playing. It's been like that for a while now. McElroy wins one event, he moves ahead of Scotty and Rahm, and then the following week, it's Rahm or Scotty with the win, and the arrangement is reshuffled. It's true that without these other two guys in the picture, John Rahm would have been outrightly considered the best golfer in the world at the moment. But rather than letting having to share the limelight pull him down or make him beef with these two, Rahm just takes it as his motivation to do better. In his words, you should sit down and reflect and enjoy what you're doing, obviously. But as competitors, you don't want it to end, obviously. What a man, truly. And for the final part of how and what makes Rom so dangerous as a golfer, we can't help but mention Rom's insane playing technique. His mental strength, discipline, and competitiveness are all important, but that swing, boy oh boy, it's a match winner. It's a swing not many are used to, but it's perfectly tailored to work for Rom's unique body. He has his right leg about half an inch shorter than his left leg which limits his lower ankle mobility. But over time, Rom has come to learn for himself that even if he can't turn his hips as much as others, he can bow with his lead wrist. This helps his strong upper body to pull the club down really forcefully with brute strength. He also has a pretty impressive backswing, which is short but really fast to create a fast counter movement. 
This is all thanks to him understanding his body and making the best out of it, and there lies what it takes to be a great golfer. So we can only wait and see how high John Rahm can soar. If you enjoyed this video about what makes John Rahm so dangerous, check out the video on the screen now, or the one we posted below, because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there!